Good morning, Boker Tov, Shalom. This is the lecture made by Shofaram Seminary. Shofar, the horn's trumpet, Shofaram Seminary. So we are going to learn about the concept of being beautiful by the ancient Hebrew picture letters. Hebrew picture letters are telling about the concept of being beautiful this morning. Okay, it is from the book of Job, chapter 42, verse 15. It is written, Nowhere in all the land were there found women as beautiful as Job's daughters, and their father granted them an inheritance along with their brothers. So in this verse, the word beautiful is written in Hebrew, yapeh. Okay, beautiful is yapeh in Hebrew. Okay, these two, the beautiful daughters are Yemenite girls, Yemen, Yemenite girls uh, looking beautiful. Okay, so we are going to learn original meaning of yapeh. Even though English uh, translated into Yape, beautiful, but the original meaning is something different. Okay, the Yape is consists of three consonants. First consonant, Yod. Second, Pe. Third, He. The Yod, okay, as you see, is a picture of arm and hand. Okay. Do you think it's similar to arm and hand? Arm and hand, okay, meaning action, your action or your behavior. Or if it is the verb, you stretch out your arm, okay? The okay, next consonant pair is the shape of mouth or shape of lips or moving lips or speaking milk. So the meaning is your, your language, your speaking, or your talk. The third consonant is hair. It's a picture of moving spirit of God. So in English, spirit of God or breath of God. That's the meaning. So what could be the meaning of yape? What could be the meaning of original meaning of beautiful? according to the ancient Hebrew picture letters, uh, we attempt in di diverse way. We must be uh, flexible in interpreting because there's no preposition, there's no conjunction. Okay, so we must add a conjunction, proper conjunction or proper uh, preposition considering the context of this word. Okay, so number one attempt is what is beauty, okay? And then we can interpret in this way. As someone speaking, pe, speaking, pe, and action, yod, are motivated by the Holy Spirit, by the Spirit of God. That's the concept of being beautiful. Number two, what is beautiful? The Spirit of God abides with the human speeches and acts. That's the beautiful. As your word, as your action abide with the Holy Spirit, that's the concept of being beautiful. Okay, so or you may make another third interpretation. Say, as you reveal the Holy Spirit, as you reveal the presence of God through your action and through your speaking, that's the meaning of being beautiful. Okay, number three, this original concept of beauty seemed applied to describe visible beauty of created nature world. 
gay flower looking beautiful and fragrant. But it is, uh, is sensible or touchable or visible beauty. But Yape, when, when the Bible describes the three new daughters of Job, was most beautiful in that land, meaning, according to Yape, according to picture letter, their, their manner, okay, their action, their speaking, they abides with the Holy Spirit. Right? That's the concept. Okay, now I'm going to introduce another language, another word, Safa. The reason I introduced this Safa because this the last syllable also consists of He, Spirit of God. So Spirit of God revealed through something, okay, through our language. Okay, uh, let us read sin. Okay. It's like a sin. What do you imagine in this picture? Somebody three pronged and a spear. But this could be interpreted front teeth. Yeah, your teeth. And then pe. There's a moving mouth, okay, moving lips. Pe, lips. And then last syllable, he. The spirit of God or breath of God. Okay, what's the concept of the language? What's the concept of speaking? Language or human talk is made as the spirit, as the spirit of God, as the breath of God pass through the teeth and lips. Oh, that's the language. Okay, so scientifically, as you as you make your breath pass through between lips and teeth, it becomes sound, audible sound. Okay, so uh, I wish to put uh, spiritual meaning as the Spirit, as the Holy Spirit, let Holy Spirit pass through your mouth and teeth. Uh, that's the language. So our language must become holy language, okay? Let the Holy Spirit pass through your teeth and your mouth. Uh, so it becomes holy language. Okay, straight from the horse mouth. This is the English idiom. Yeah, what's the meaning of straight from the horse's mouth? The idiom definition, uh, okay, it is written directly from the person who knows the most about the matter. Okay, for example, I heard Joe selling the farm. It's true. I heard it straight from the horse mouths. So straight from the horse mouth means it's true. Okay. The, if you are telling the truth, whatever you are telling is true, that's a beautiful talk. So, the beautiful talk, trustful talk, okay, that's the holy language, that's a beautiful language. Okay, people are own as beautiful as they love, as they care, as they share. And then, if I add one more, as they tell the truth, it is beautiful. So, let us read together. A beautiful woman uses her lips for truth, her voice for kindness, her ears for compassion, her hands for charity, and her heart for love. For those who do not like her, she uses prayer. What's the meaning of for those who do not like her? She uses prayer. It means we encounter some hard person who are angry, who do not love me, 
uh, who are angry easily against me, and then we do not confront with them. We just pray for them so that let the Spirit of God comfort them. Okay, so uh, we, we need to translate also. We need to change the word woman into man, okay? Yeah, let me uh, change the woman into man, okay? Or beautiful man, oh, strange. Handsome man, okay? A handsome man uses his lips for truth, his voice for kindness, his ears for compassion, and then his hands for charity, and his heart for love. For those who do not like him, he uses prayer. That's beautiful. Okay, now, uh, this is end of our lesson today. Uh, see you next time. Later on, God bless you. Heavenly peace be with you. Shalom. Shalom. Later on, see you again.